300 persons living with disability in different parts of the country are set to benefit from prosthetics to aid their mobility courtesy of the Narayan Seva Sanstan, the Hindu Council of Kenya and the Vishwa Umiya Foundation. The organizations on Sunday uh, conducted a free mega artificial limbs measurement in Parklands, Nairobi, where 300 beneficiaries officially embarked on their journey towards self-reliance. Have you ever thought of how difficult it is for persons living with disabilities to make ends meet? Judith Akinyi is among Kenya's population of 6 million people living with disabilities. Judith had her limb amputated in 2007 after developing a bone infection. And it has made life easy because I managed to go to school, both primary, secondary school and uh, university. And I also managed to do, I managed to do like every, every day activities in life, which has been easier through the use of orthoprosthesis or artificial limb. And the difficulty that I normally encounter in life, maybe when it comes a time to change a prosthesis or maybe when it's, it's broken down, they are very expensive, so changing a prosthesis has always become a challenge. Scratches, wheelchair, una gloves, una socks, yoyote inabidi nitafute. Sasa hiyo njia ya kutafuta sina uwezo. Ndio ningeomba kama iwezekana. Watu angazie watu kama sisi ili tuweze kusaidika. Just like Judith, many disabled people in the country are forced to depend on others for survival. However, orthopedics say life doesn't need to be this way because people like Judith can be assisted to gain mobility and empowered to fend for themselves. These services should be available at the community level. They should be available at the nearest hospital, a sub-county hospital, um, the county hospitals, they should be having the service. But unfortunately, in Kenya, these services are not accessible. And this really... Um, puts the burden on the patients and, uh, and that's why most of them after amputation once they are discharged from hospital they go back home and, and they don't get the device and they lead a desperate life because they can't afford it. Today 300 people have been selected to benefit from free prosthetics in a program spearheaded by the Narayan Seva Sanstan, the Hindu Council of Kenya and Vishwa Umiya. And after three months we will these same doctors, we will manufacture this artificial limb in India and they will come to the fix it exactly same size and after the fixing we have the experience. These people can be even the work, even they can do any work, whatever they want. To find solutions for, for young people as well as elderly people throughout this country and to ensure that they make a positive impact on their lives within the context of providing these solutions. We are trying to see how we can work together with the government to support these people you know, in the long term. Not only fixing the limbs, yeah, yeah. but what's the long term uh, support to these people. Yeah. We are looking at the broader uh, aspect of supporting these people. The donors are calling on the government to do more in creating a conducive environment for persons living with disability to thrive. They are also calling on well-wishers to chip in and support programs aimed at training doctors on corrective surgery and other medical interventions for persons living with disability. Arnold Feather for Sunday Express. Now that, what, that is what we refer to as giving back to.